We're gonna have to whip them good and send them packing, so they won't think of coming around here again. All right then. Hope we don't mind if we take advantage of your hospitality for a while. I do not. I would be grateful for the favor. Thank you very much. I too would do anything to protect Astrasia. So thank you. Thank you for lending us your strength so we can protect our nation. Well, if it is decided, then I shall make the preparations to welcome your company. All right, Lou. We're going back to the castle to get ready to move the troops. Sounds good. I see. So Princess Fredegund has... Yes. Under the order's guidance, she had forgotten her parents' death and finally found peace in her heart. How cruel these others are to pull her back into a world filled with suffering and sadness. And now it seems that the Chronicle of the Twin Blades has passed into the hand of their company. Forget about that. While I cannot say that we do not need it, it is not entirely regrettable. More important are the Eighth and Ninth Chronicles. I understand that. We may have to use the young lady again. The librarians are under your command. I do not need to concern myself with them. Thank you. The Tenth World is drawing near, and will soon be before our eyes. Three more. If we can overcome them, the one true way will be fulfilled. See to it that we have the time. Leave that to me.
What are you doing here? Well now, it's been a while. Do forgive the intrusion. You! You were in the library at the Tower of Guidance. I don't believe I've introduced myself then. I'm the head archivist Deidre. The pleasure's all mine. Head archivist? 
Actually, I have one regret about the first time we met. I should have somehow seized the A Chronicle when I had the chance. I had no idea that you children were so resourceful after all. And I had no idea that you were always such a worthless bunch of jerks. I don't take kindly to people breaking into my house. How did you get in here? <laughs> well, as for that... From here... What? A gateway? How'd they do that? No way! You mean they can open up one of those gateways wherever they want? Well, it has to be in a place that I've seen with my own eyes. You know, of course, that this castle used to be the Orders. I've been here before. Thank you for helping us out by bringing the Chronicles here. You! What? Damn it! Are the bandits in here? What is this? Why are you scum here? Keep your guard up! These guys are archivists from the Order! And all of the Chronicles are here for the taking. <sighs> and I believe we shall do exactly that. Don't think too poorly of us, okay?
This is surprising. You're really hanging in there. I only have to get the Ninth Chronicle for my father. Yes, the Eighth Chronicle is so close. But if we are not to obtain it, we shall wipe it from existence. What? What is she doing? Goodbye.
scribes are a tribe sworn to protect the secrets of the Chronicles. I don't know how, but they've known a lot about the Chronicles for ages. They pass it down each generation. Wow. At age 12, a scribe is considered a full adult, and they are taught about the Chronicles. They're given their tattoos at that time as well. But I, uh, ran away before that. Why did you run away? I told you that the scribes are sworn to protect the secrets of the Chronicles, right? They seclude themselves in this forest so their knowledge can't spread and be used for evil. I didn't like that seclusion, and I didn't like those around me who thought it was a good idea, either. I wanted to see what was outside of the forest. I see. Once you are given the tattoos, it makes it difficult to intermingle with the outside world. Even if they do not know of the scribes, few would not view such tattoos as an oddity. So you took flight before that could happen? That's pretty much it. I wandered around aimlessly until I was taken in by Elder Regime. And then I met his group. And I thought, wow, it sure would be nice to live here, so... You remember, don't you? When we found that very first chronicle? You can't have forgot already. When I touched the book, I saw exactly the same vision as the rest of you. Of course, I knew from the start that thing was a chronicle. I had managed to get away from the scribes, and I didn't want to have anything to do with the Chronicles. Oh, so that's why. And despite that, I was back up to my neck in all this Chronicle business before I knew it. And every time we started talking about the Chronicles, I thought about telling you everything. I am a scribe, a protector of the secrets of the Chronicles, but I don't know anything about them. I left home before I could learn. Sorry, how could I say that? I'd look so stupid, so I just kept quiet. Oh, well, really? I don't think I would have noticed you acting any dumber than usual. Yeah, you're one to talk. But sometimes I thought that maybe I shouldn't have run away. That I should have studied here instead. Maybe then I would have been more help to you. There you go again, being dumb. If he'd done that, we might not ever have met. Huh? Perhaps you can gain your knowledge of the Chronicles starting now. At any rate, it was far better for us to have met you in Citro Village. Come on, cut it out. You're embarrassing me. But I guess you're right. It was totally random chance. But now I'm back here. Guess we may as well pump the venerable one for all the information she has. Assembled archivists, I thank you all for coming. Your hard work is to be commended. In particular, your recovery of the Ninth Chronicle, the Chronicle of the Furious Roar, deserves praise with it. We will surely be able to usher in the Tenth World in the manner the One King wills. And yet in its place, the Eighth Chronicle has been lost for eternity. Well, I wonder if it has. Excuse me? Ah, uh, never mind. Though we have lost the Eighth Chronicle, all should be well if we secure the Tenth. When that time comes, I will call upon you once again, Sophia. Of course, Father. <sighs> and there's one more thing. It appears we may uncover the missing chronicle. Really? I have a feeling we will, because of the significant power that was used on our behalf. I wonder what has happened. Until now, this has remained hidden, not even daring to draw breath. And furthermore, this energy was something related to the Ravine of Infinity. The Ravine? It is as if this something is telling you to find it, is it not? I see. I believe I can use my powers to trace any vestiges that may remain. Excellent. I leave it to you. If we can get our hands on it, we will, in effect, have a chronicle to spare.
This is the Venerable One, Elder Scribe, Honored Lao Quan. <sighs> You're the one who helped us out, Grandma? Thanks, I guess. Um, say, you don't look too good. Are you okay? There are two reasons I brought you out to the ravine. Hmm. She doesn't seem to be listening. Grandma, are you hard of hearing? Be quiet. Listen to what she has to say. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. The first is that you bear with you a chronicle. As the eldest of the scribes, I cannot sit idly by as a chronicle is lost from this world. The second reason is that I must convey the meaning of the chronicles to you star bearers. Of the chronicles? But as you have already somehow managed to include a scribe among your ranks, I suspect you have. Yeah, somehow. Yeah. We know a little about the Chronicles, but it's not because I'm a scribe. Lu Shen. A Chronicle is a massive repository of the entire knowledge of a world. It is the very memory of that world. I think maybe she is a little hard of hearing after all. Ah. So do you not wonder at this? Have you yourselves already unlocked these riddles? If so, then these you have brought with you from another world. Well, we were kind of wondering about that, too. Like, if there's a bunch of fake books, then that would mean that there's a real book out there somewhere. A real book? You cannot mean... You mean the Chronicle for this world? I do. The Order, its Chancellor Valfred has acquired this world's Chronicle, the True Chronicle. For that reason, they refer to all others as False Chronicles. The True Chronicle? Everything in this world? So, the advanced knowledge the Order has of disasters... They are reading the future that is written in the True Chronicle. They're doing what? But that's... That ain't true, Grandma. If it were, then we'd win every battle, hands down. And we've already beaten them a whole bunch of times. Think back on what has happened. The Order's prophecies have all been natural disasters. In other words, events that occur without regard to human actions. Oh, so you're saying... Though they use the true Chronicle, they cannot read a future that is shaped by free will. It may be that matters of the will, too, are recorded in the True Chronicle, but cannot be read. Or perhaps such things are not written in the True Chronicle at all. I do not know. That sort of thing can't be written in, can it? However, it is at least true that natural disasters can be foretold with the True Chronicle. Not only natural disasters. How parts of other worlds overlap and appear in this world. That is also written in the Chronicle. What? So you mean, the sudden appearance of Lysaria Forest or Marcina Plain? Indeed. And their inhabitants will forget, coming to think it has always been so. Such it is written in the true Chronicle. So what do you mean? I mean that everything in this world is written in the True Chronicle. Everything, including memory. Huh? So all memories will change in accordance with reality as defined in the True Chronicle. So we're the only ones whose memories haven't changed? You star bearers are able to make contact with the Chronicles from other worlds. Therefore, you are not entirely controlled by the accounts in the True Chronicle. So, that's why. This is an unbelievable story. But it goes a long way in explaining my suspicions thus far. But, there's something weird about all this. Can't put my finger on it, but I'm not satisfied. Venerable One. Whoa, hey, what are you being all jumpy for? I believe they have come. Huh? I have a bad feeling, something outside. What?
You! You! What are you... Ah, it all makes sense now. The Elder Scribe used that power to draw the lot of you here. Excellent. I can get my hands on both the Eighth Falls Chronicle and the Scribe's Chronicle at the same time. The Scribe's Chronicle? There's one here too? So that is what they seek. I've asked you this before and I'm asking again. What do you want with these books? It appears the Elder Scribe has told you quite a bit. Well, perhaps I have something to add. The reason we seek these false chronicles... What are you saying? This phenomenon of parts of other worlds appearing in this one has been going on for more than 100 years. The recent event with the Marcina Plains was the ninth time such a thing has happened. That many? Porphus Kin or the Wanderers, the Magedom of Janam or Astrasia, they don't normally exist here. I tell you all, these phenomena all came from other worlds, along with their false chronicles. Of course, I thought as much when I learned that Divine Edge was a chronicle. So just what do you think happens to the lands displaced when the other world intrudes in? No way. They can't just disappear, can they? Like the Chiolui Mountains? They do indeed. It was only happenstance that no one lived in the Chiolui Mountains, but... If it had been a town or a village, all of the people living there would have vanished as well. What? Actually, something like that has happened several times in the past nine events. And that's why we need the False Chronicles. To avoid such tragedies. But why? What do you mean by that? The True Chronicle indicates when the fusion of the worlds will take place, but not where. But if we use the powers concealed in the False Chronicles, we can determine where the fusion will be. What? We can intervene in the accounts of the True Chronicle, make the fusion occur far from the settled areas. The Order has been trying to do that up until now, protecting people who are unaware of the danger. You... you have? Really? However, each intervention in the True Chronicle uses up one of the False Chronicles. We act to be prepared for future fusions, and so we can continue to protect people. This can't be! How can I be any clearer? Hear me! Hand over your False Chronicles now! It sounds to me like what you're saying just doesn't add up. In what way? If it were true, then why'd you need to use a whole army to spread that nonsense about a set future? And another thing. Something I was thinking about when listening to Grandma talk just now. Who's this one king guy? He's got something to do with you guys, don't he? Hmm. Ah, and here we are again. What are you doing? It would have been easier if you had let me keep you in the dark. But you had to push, so it comes to this. This is so unfortunate. I really do have a soft spot for children such as a lot of you. Hey now, I think that you're just trying to hide the inconvenient facts, ain't you? God, if it is, then you'd best get to telling us everything you know. My, you are persistent. Perhaps I have more to offer. Uh, 
Not again. Keep your guard up. Keep your guard up, she says. How are we supposed to do that? What happened? Why did... happening no no what's going on venerable one i see this is the power of the scribes false chronicle this is not over no she got away but what's going on with her don't ask me Ugh. Blood! Under lock one! Wake up, please! Come back to your senses! Something's wrong with the venerable one? Lord! Let's get back inside! Yeah! Under lock one! Venerable one! <gasps> Grandma! Hey, Grandma, wake up! What's happened to her? Why has she fallen ill so suddenly? When that woman was opening up the gateways earlier, the Venerable One used her power to close them. She what? Honored Lao Kwan had used her power yesterday. She didn't have enough time to recover. Yesterday? When she pulled all of us out of the ravine? You mean she has saved us once again? Grandma, come back to us. Can you hear me? O open your eyes. I... hear you. Elder! I... Must be quick, if I am to finish my story. Don't worry about that. Try to rest. S silence. Listen to me. It is as I said before. The Chronicles, by nature, are the records of their world. <laughs> they do not define those worlds. I mean to say... <laughs> The current true chronicle has deviated from its true state. What? And the one who has caused the deviation is the One King. The One King? Lu Shen. You must know the true form of the One King, and his purpose. Why are you telling me this? Or you are. Honored Lao Kuan. Whoa! Whoa. Lu! What's going on here? Uh... Her tattoos! They're on Lu now! The Chronicle has been passed on. Passed on? Those. That very pattern of lines is the chronicle we scribes are sworn to protect. And they are the markings of the Elder Scribe. What? Lu Chen, from this day, you are the Elder. What are you saying? Me? This has to be a joke. You, from the moment you left us, I knew. That you, and you alone, would be our next venerable one. The rest is in your hands. Oh. Honored Lao Kwan? Grandma! Elder. Oh, old woman. Why? Why me? Elder Scribe? And now I've even got these. I hated the tattoos. That's why I ran away. And now I'm covered in them. <laughs> <sighs> uh, that old woman. 
Just what was she thinking? Uh, uh... Stick out your hand. Uh, what, all of a sudden? You want to shake hands or something? No, I don't want to shake your hand. This pattern is a chronicle, so I want you to touch it. Oh, okay. Ready? Yep. I see now. The One King and the Star Bearers. What are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Well, we know a lot more now about the natural disasters and about the other world that's coming. And that the Order's gathering chronicles to try and stop the fusion from happening in some city. Should we really be fighting them? I already said it to that Deidre girl. But what the Order's doing just don't make sense. And even Grandma said that the One King had warped the true chronicle, didn't she? So if the Order's involved in this, and of course they are, we ain't got no choice but to fight. I guess you were right. That's what I thought you would say. What about you? What are you gonna do? Now that you're the... venerable one and all. Well, if you think about it, I suppose the Elder has to stay here. But what do you think I should do? Ain't got no idea. That's your decision. Whew, that's cold. But what I'd like is for you to keep on with us in our company. Uh... You know, you really have a way of putting people in a bind. Huh? How? Uh, forget it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming back with you to the castle, and I'm gonna fight the Order. You sure? Yeah. That old woman knew I would do that before she gave me the Chronicle. If she'd wanted a normal Elder, she'd have chosen somebody like Lu Tao. Yeah, maybe she would've.
Here's your reward! Is this the one you want? See you later! 